So going back to uh, Mr. Morgan's uh, computer programming class where I sat next to Tim, we got to the visual, uh, not visual basic, but uh, QBasic uh, programming class in there. And um, it was super simple. Uh, basically, I mean, if you ever used QBasic, uh, we were given these books, and you would you were supposed to read through it. Then at the end, they would give you sample code to type out. Now, me and Tim, we wouldn't read the book. We would just jump to the uh, QBasic part, and uh, I would you know we basically just copy the code, maybe make some changes, and make the program do stuff. And we were we were chapters ahead of everybody else because we weren't reading it because we we basically understood for the most part when we typed stuff what would happen. Uh, we did get into a little competition. Who could get more done? And when we would get further and further, we'd be, you know, fighting back and forth. Uh, well, then Mr. Morgan would come and ask one of us, oh, go, can you go help this person show them how to do this? And then he'd send me, you know, send Tim to one person, meet another person. And we'd quickly, like, just, just, just copy what's in the book, you know, and we wanted to get back because we wanted to see who could get further in the book, uh, you know. And uh, so, like, he'd be set off, and he'd be looking at me as I'm typing out as much code, but then I'd get somewhere, uh, get sent to help someone, and he'd come back, and he'd catch up. And uh, finally, uh, I realized that somehow I figured out how to log into his account. Uh, again, this is back, this is, we're probably running Windows 95 on a network, so there's probably absolutely no security. Somehow I figured out how to log into his account from my computer. <laughs> And so he was a few chapters ahead of me, so I went in and I copied his files over to my folder. I think that's all it was. You log in with your account, but you had access to everybody's folder if you actually knew where to look. And I found his folder and I, I, and I copied uh, over his file. And he's like, how did you do that? How did you get so far ahead? I'm like, oh, I just, <laughs> he, he realized what I was doing. It, it was a lot of fun. Um, and although QBasic was very simple, and we did get so far ahead that we got to a point in the book where we would actually, you know, be able to put in music notes and play music. And we played music. And Mr. Mr. I said Mr. Morgan, but actually... Yeah, it was Mr. Morgan. Anyway, I'll say his name was Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan stood up when he heard the music. Who's doing that? Who's making their computer play music? And we were, me and Tim were like, it was us. He's like, oh, it's you guys. Never mind, never mind. He didn't want anyone else jumping ahead, but he didn't care if we did. Um, but what I did learn in that, even though, you know, QBasic, you know, was pretty basic at the time, I did learn the most useful thing in, thing in that class. One of the most useful things... Uh, and probably one of the first three or four things you learn when programming in every language is if-then statements. And I was able to go home after that, and I was uh, big into Duke Nukem at the time, and I was able to find the script files on there uh, and modify them to, to make some changes to the game, uh, just because just I understood if-then statements. And uh, I did find in the code, and I remember this, uh, so in Duke Nukem, unlike other games like Doom, like if you hit someone with a rocket launcher or, or a pipe bomb or whatever, when they exploded, body parts would fly. You get three or four, you know, limbs flying out. Well, I found that part in the code as an if-then statement. If this happens, then it said something like generate jibs is what it was called. And it said it three times in there. So I copied and pasted that line a couple times. Went back in, shot some of the rocket launcher, and now like 10 body parts flew out. I'm like, so cool. So I went back in and copied, and I copied and pasted that line, you know, like 50 times to 100 times. I went back into the game, walked up to the first character with a pipe bomb or a rocket launcher, hit him, and it went, I could see all these body parts flying out of him, and it went like that. The screen turned red, and the whole computer just locked up. Uh, but I was able to do that because I understood if-then statements from QBasic in my high school class. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.